Hillbilly Hard said, I left Crowder for you. Hillbilly Hard, what I'm gonna need you to do is make an about face and go right back to Crowder. The fact that you were even watching Crowder, all right, Hillbilly Hard, the fact that you were even watching Crowder, <laughs> go back. Just go back. We can leave it at that. The fact that Hillbilly Hard was even watching Stephen Crowder. Uh, let me know everything about you. You can turn around and go right back to Stephen Crowder. Uh, the more people watch Stephen Crowder, the less people want to watch me. Maybe it's because I say the real shit that needs to be said. Uh, maybe it's because I'm making great Swisher Sweets popular again. I don't know, but I do know. Go on about face and go back to Crowder. <laughs> Shout out to Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder was share. Steven Crowder shared my video and then I forgot what I did. Um Damn, I got a lot of his like a lot of people that fuck with Steven Crowder after he shared my video. I forgot what it was, but that video spit a, it, it fit a specific narrative that Steven Crowder and the rest of those type of conservatives were pushing at the time. So it fit. It seemed like I fit the mold. But I didn't really. It's just that the current narratives were crossing paths with the type of videos I was making. And it seemed like our worldviews were aligned. Y'all know what I'm saying? But we're not the same and i think a lot of people got that fucked up about me and i think that's what a lot of people was disappointed about me with because it was it was people trying to hit me up for interviews and and then like week later they like come on man i'm like what what you talking about like really <laughs> like I mean, you just went and did that. You said that, though. I'm like, yeah, hey, you know, that's... So I know it's like high school in that whole little world. It's like you got the cool kids table, then you got the outcast, then you got the emos. It's like high school. That's all it is. It's like high school on both sides. It's like... And it's like high school on that, on that truther side, too. Like, people just try to fit in. It's more so about fitting in with your peers and y'all talking points lining up than, than being a real individual. Like, it, it fewer and fewer people want to be really authentic nowadays. It's, people care more about how somebody else feels about something. That way they can tailor their speech and the narrative they concoct around how somebody else feels. Like, they don't want to be out of the fucking loop because once you're out once you're out of the loop or y'all talking points don't align with people you claim to be in a community with now you might you may get jump you may get tag team somebody might team up and they may try to tell i'm talking about on youtube this on youtube it sounds like some street shit but this some you like yo youtubers be doing the fuck out what they be beefing they be like nah when you said that it's just like i watched I watched all these black conservatives. I'm gonna give you an example. I watched all these black conservatives go at each other over the Breonna Taylor verdict. Or well, what happened with Breonna Taylor. And in Ahmaud Arbery, you had some black conservatives, they was like, oh, well, I felt, you know, ABL in them, they like over here, Hotep Jesus in them, they're over here. Um, amazing lucas and them they're over here you know and these 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 they're they're clashing on what narrative on on how they want to how this situation that happened needs to be spun to the public and how we should react as black conservatives i guess and certain people felt like other people didn't have the right talking points they weren't lining up the views the viewpoints like, we're, we're not seeing eye to eye on this situation. Some people was like, yo, Breonna Taylor was dealing with a drug dealer and she and, and she shouldn't have been in that situation. Some people like, oh, you a coon, you tap dancing. C certain people wanted to fit in with their friends they were already fit in with. Other people 
you know they they were on some like no this the black community side it just broke it it just it just dissolved all of the you know all of the uh the fake unified front it just that whole fake unified front black we against liberal all that shit just and it and, and, and essentially it came down to the individual but yet still but still people wanting to engage in a hive mind group thing just amongst their peers and it's like when you don't have that it's like you really don't fit in like like me like i don't fit in with any of them you know and then and then one thing they all can agree on is the black community i don't believe in the black community so it's really nothing to talk about once i hear people leading with that or talking about we need all the black votes and black people need to wake up and you know i'm just bro i'm over here <laughs> like i'm over here and it's like they're over there and they seem to be in different groups but it's all the same group they just don't see eye to eye and everything that shit wild bro that shit high school i don't want like fuck all that like i'm i'm a grown ass man dog. <laughs> I would say what the fuck I want to say. That shit don't got a line. And I don't give a fuck about losing out on interviews with none of you niggas. Niggas be like, well, I can't interview. I can share my platform with you. So your platform. I'm like, man, fuck all these plat. These ain't even your platform. These ain't even platforms. Cause this shit. It's like a platform is whatever the fuck you're talking on. But. I don't know, I guess from the beginning I always seen like that shit could get pulled at any fucking minute. And that didn't necessarily make me mad. That shit just made me appreciate reality that much more, you know? You know? I don't know. I don't know. I can't act like I like other people. Like I'm bad at that. I can't act like bg venting every day grumpy old man i am i've been called grumpy old man because you know by like my nephews and shit they like and i'm like i'm 32 they like oh you drive this nigga drive a truck every fucking day he fucking grumpy he don't want to hang out with nobody i'm like they're like i don't want to hang out with nobody i don't want to um i don't go to parties you know i don't just sit there and parlay and just be politic and i don't do that shit nah i got specifics I have a task, I have a job, I complete that job, complete that task, I have a purpose every day I wake up, every month I got a new goal to meet, you know, and, and this is me just sharing my thoughts right here, because a lot of people aren't doing that, what a lot of people like to do is hop on here and share other people's thoughts, you know, this shit organic, this shit organic, because like I didn't sit here and craft this to try to handle people with kitty gloves and try to self-censor myself so i could to please the youtube overlords and kowtow to a political party and 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 try to mesh views and align agendas and nah because this just this, this is what it is so i can see how this might be unappealing but bro i'm that's why i said i'm i'm y'all I'm you guys, man. I'm like I'm like the everyday man without the hive mind. Like I have no hive mind. That's why I reject the titles. People try to put me in a libertarian box. It's like he's not Republican, he's libertarian. And 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 people try to put me in the conservative box and then conservative when I did that um that anti-vaccine skit, conservatives put me in the liberal box. So I'm like, I don't Bro, I can't be authentic with your fucking titles that you put on me. Like, that shit doesn't work. But people, people need you to have, so they know how to deal with you. It's like, so they, it, that, that's why it's like, it's hard to, it's hard to argue, it's hard to debate or talk down a real man. 
because worst come to worst i'm gonna sit there and agree with you you might find me agreeing with you i have no fucking agenda that's what it come down to i, I get to listen to and talking people like I, i'm young i remember the old heads telling me that's why you got two ears and one mouth so you can listen i listen to people like i've listened to all the arguments i heard all them shits and i know where i stand and 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 people you, you just can't move me this is why i said i'd be a, a damn fool if i gave my allegiance to any side libertarian republican uh conservative liberal communist socialist capitalist nazist because then that will remove the man in me that's how i honestly feel like that will remove my authenticity because once you once you align yourself with these parties or these titles and then you say something that goes against any one of the tenets of 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 what these titles believe in now you outcast it again now you're gonna be like some random nigga looking for a new home you gonna like a random dude looking for a new home like that's why i didn't jump on the truck on the on, on the trump train and then when that shit left, people scrambled to find a new daddy. So now you got people clinging to, you know, um, Ron DeSantis nutsack. And then I've been, why well, I've been alive a long time. I've lived long enough to see people um, be let down by people they look up to. And then next year they do it all over again. Like, it's just like with the Russia-Ukraine shit. Everybody's like, oh, I stand with Putin. I understand why. I'm a man of understanding. I understand why you say you stand with Putin. But to me, all that shit the same. That's why I said, no, I don't stand with Putin. And niggas like, you must stand with Zelensky. No, I don't stand with that nigga neither, son. Because right now, the bad guy is just a matter of perception. Based on how you feel. So you may feel like Zelensky, oh, he's a Jew. Oh, Ukraine, that was Kazaria. Um, and he's a literal Nazi. And he sniffs coke. Here's Putin. He's the good guy now. So there's narratives behind this shit. Now, a year from now, that whole ordeal can flip. But they get you to choose a side by putting people in your face who you may have agreed with yesterday and now you hear them talking bad about putin so now by default you feel like you gotta ride with putin all of it is emotive that's why i said everything don't deserve a reaction sometimes you just gotta sit back and watch and when you do sit back and watch you can see how they're pulling strings on all of it they tell you people like me don't exist they say people like me can't exist they say you have to pick a side they say they 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 say you're a fence sitter. They say here's the here's the line. You're either on this side or that side. But it's like people they say people like me can't exist because I understand the world is bigger than this line you drew right here. Like this is not where the buck stops. I wa I watched them. Man, I watched them flip scripts so hard on the vaccines. One minute Republicans were all like, oh, you're fucking liberal. Liberals are anti-vaccine. Liberals are fucking science deniers. Man, swear to God, the next minute, here come the fucking liberals with the same shit. I'm like, how the fuck I'm supposed to choose sides with you niggas? One minute, Putin be the good guy. The next minute, they could put out some shit tomorrow. I'm telling them that now. The next minute they could put out some shit tomorrow saying Putin's a Jew, Putin had, Putin is actually Rothschild, uh, Jacob Rothschild's nephew, um, Putin, and, and then all the truthers are going to be scrapped. Bro, nigga. Bro, can I, can I fuck this duck? Can I fuck this duck up? Damn, this my duck. Damn, cuz all, all in the camera like how P. Diddy was <laughs> in the in the biggie videos. Cuz wanna be cut wanna be seen and heard so bad. Shut the fuck up. Damn.
Yeah, one, one minute Putin is a Putin is a is a hero and he's fighting against Nazis and the the people down there in Ukraine because they want some bullshit. Next year, that whole script could flip and they like Putin is actually Jacob Rothschild's uh nephew or some weird shit like that. Um Putin is helping to facilitate the culmination of the World Economic Forum and he's pals with fucking Klaus Schwab and he's having sex with Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, the World Health Organization that right and then people and then truthers are going to scramble to find a new fucking hero all of this shit is designed for you to have heroes and villains bro there is another way and I feel like once people find that path but that path is straight few people find it you can see the world for what it is you see the world for what it is. They don't have your best interest at heart. They don't have your best interest at heart. So I mean, man, that's just what it is. Like people, like you got few people. They they can't fathom believing in something outside of what the TV tells them to believe. Like, I don't need the TV to tell me this is the good guy, this is the bad guy. And I don't need other people's opinions to tell me this is the good guy, this is the bad guy. I'm a good guy. That's good enough for me. I'll live. And if I don't, I die. Oh, my shit stink just like everybody else. So it's like, man, it's just hard for me to get on that type of time and that type of level and then be enthused about the shit that people want to talk about. Like I seen somebody like, like uh, YouTube was promoting that Awaken with JP John he did with some guy, and I I listened to some of that shit, um, cause I just needed something to fucking listen. I needed some background noise or something. I'd be out here working, and the dude was just hype about all oh, the censorship, the fucking censorship, fuck. And I'm listening. I'm I'm listening to two grown men, just kick back and forth ideas about how oppressed they are like that's what i heard and, and, and people i understand y'all may not understand it but i got enough of that shit in the black community why the fuck i want to be free from that type of shit and come over here and listen to this type of shit by being a part of what you call the right like all of that shit is gay to me all of it like, I don't want to, that's why I say I'm not doing no more interviews because all people going to want to fucking talk about is how oppressed we all are. You know, for, you know a few people want to talk about glory and conquering and salvation. You know, nobody, it, it, it's n nothing about life no life experiences no what made you 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 know no no message for the young men except for financial freedom through bitcoin and getting around the federal reserve i'm like oh this is like that's a small world son like that shit doesn't even mean anything so then why I said, like, I, and I seen the Jim Bob shit, like how he be taking calls and shit. Shout out to Jim Bob. Like, man, I can't do that because niggas be coming on, be on some other shit. I'm like, man, cuz. Like, man, I might as well go half on somebody with a log splitter, a faster log splitter so I can increase my productivity on the jobs. I'm not worried about that shit. That shit don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. And that shit is not feeding your families except for the people that peddle that bullshit to you. And then they get sponsors and all types of other sources of income and revenue from the bullshit. All the while bringing nothing of value to anybody. And then that nigga awakened with Jay. I don't know what it is about the Hodge twins. <laughs> but this nigga was talking to awakened with Jay. He was like, yeah, the Hodge twins. I fucking love those guys. They fucking get it. You know, this angry white guy, people of the string cheese, they love the Hodge twins. No lie. Like, it is no joke. Like, I've never seen... I, I gotta give it to them. 
they got it. Like they fucking got it, bro. The hot is cracking right now. Like they got shit on. They got the game in a fucking chokehold. And I remember somebody telling me about the hot twin, and I and I go to look at that shit, and I thought they were two gay guys. I was like, who the fuck are these faggots? Like they look like two buff gay ass prison dudes. No lie. They look like homo thugs. You know, but and so I never really listened to him. I just heard that one rant dude went on one of the twins went on. He was talking about Robert E. Lee and how he was a racist and how the Republican Party needs to secure the black vote and how the Republican Party is gonna lose them if they don't go against this bill to to keep up the statues of the racist Confederates. Like that whole shit. So I was like, uh like I understand everybody has an angle to work. That's it. Nobody's just doing shit for the, you know, it's out the kindness of their own heart. Like that's not how the, that's not how the world works. It doesn't matter what system you're in. It's like nobody's, nah. There's something in it for me. What's in it for me? And you know, all the banks don't just loan you fucking money for no fucking reason to buy Twitter. They're like, oh, what's in it for me? You know, no, they, they, like you are the hero. But people are constantly looking for a hero or somebody else to do their dirty work. We need less government, not more. I don't know what the fuck. I'm not even going down that road. 